Hey everybody, I have not made a video in a while for that, I am sorry. I have a reason, it's not necessarily a good reason, but it's my reason. I have been remodeling my kitchen, but at the same time, I've been doing three simultaneous hydroponic experiments back here in my basement. The first one, an aerated cracky system versus a standard cracky system. I have, I'm calling it aerated cracky because I didn't keep the water full like a deep water reservoir. I treated it like a cracky system, but with an air stone. Which one grows better? Second experiment, T5 lights in a cracky setup versus T8 and T12 lights in a cracky setup. And lastly, can you grow a head of lettuce faster than you can remodel a kitchen? So, I have a con and I have a confession to make that I'll tell you about later. Um, that might skew the results, but I think it was worth it. I think you'll agree with me, it was worth it. So, and, and I was going to do three different videos explaining all the results and looking at things in detail, but I'm tired. I'm just tired from remodeling things. So, we're going to do the growth progress. I'm going to sum it up here, and we're going to do the growth progress B-roll style. Cracky versus aerated cracky. This lettuce seems much fuller and bigger than this lettuce. So while you can grow lettuce in a standard non-circulating cracky setup, and it's dead simple, with no moving parts, aeration appears to have produced a better result. And I'm not necessarily convinced that it is completely due to the aeration, but I'm willing to give it another try to see if I can duplicate this experiment. So. Looks good. The roots, nice clean and white on the aerated, and kind of clean and white, starting to brown near the tops of the non-aerated. Don't know what that means, or if that's good or bad. Everything seems to be healthy, so I'm going to say it doesn't seem to have mattered. Standard cracky versus under, standard cracky under the T under the T8 lights versus standard cracky under the T5 lights. This lettuce is much taller, much fuller. Uh, T5 definitely a winner. However, notice the leaves the leaves on this are smaller and the plant is taller. I don't know if that is because of this particular lettuce is bolting, or if it's just the way it grew, but I suspect it has something to do with bigger leaves being required to gather the less amount of light. I'm willing to try this experiment again as well, but this one's kind of obvious, right? More light usually means more growth. So that's a healthy thing I let us. There's my stormtrooper for scale. And lastly, can you grow a head of lettuce faster than you can remodel a kitchen? Here we go, right here. This is the one that was racing the remodel. Remodel's not done yet. It's got a few more days worth of work, but you be the judge. Now for my confession. Actually, let me sum up the results first, and then I'll tell you. Aerated Cracky versus regular Cracky. Aerated Cracky definitely wins. T5 lights versus regular T8 lights. T5 lights definitely wins. However, T5 lights versus T8 lights and aeration, that's a closer call. I'm not sure which one looks better there. It's, uh, it's actually quite surprising to me. And third, can you grow a head of lettuce faster than you can remodel a kitchen? And the answer is yes. But here's my confession. I went on a week's vacation in the middle there. So the lettuce kept growing, and I stopped remodeling. So does that skew the results? Maybe. But I think it was worth it. And, and here's why. Here's why. I got this as a souvenir. Thanks for watching. Oh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. Hada.